In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform an antibody screen using the Ortho Microtyping Systems gel card. Uh, first thing you need to get together is your reagent red cells, and you're also going to need to get a gel card. I've already labeled mine for the uh, corresponding reagent red cells. Um, it's important to note before you use the card um, that the liquid portion needs to be above the gel portion. Um, sometimes this can get uh, disturbed in shipping and you can get that back into the right position by centrifuging it. Um, first step is to remove the foil on the gel card. And uh, you only want to remove the foil for the portions that you're going to be using so that you don't dry out the other sides. Now when you add the reagent red cells, you're going to want to use a 50 microliter pipette. And uh, it's important to, to note that um, I actually mixed my reagent red cells before I made the video. But before you use yours, you should just ensure that there are no red blood cells that have settled and stuck to the bottom of these vials. So just go ahead and mix them before you use them. You don't want to shake them or anything, just mix them gently. Um, also, I just want to point out that I'm trying to keep the reagent red cells in the upper portion of the reaction chamber. I believe this is what they recommend. At least it's what we try and do where I work. After adding your reagent red cells in the upper portions of the reaction chamber. Then you can go ahead and start to move on to the patient specimen, which will be their plasma or serum. And um, you're going to want to use a 25 microliter pipette for this. Um, instead of using a patient uh, specimen, I'm actually going to use the positive and negative QC that we have for these gel cards. And I'm just going to do that so that you can see difference between a 0 and a 4 plus reaction in the gel card. So I'm going to go ahead and add 25 microliters of the negative QC to the 1 and 2 reagent red cells, and then I'm going to add the positive to the third. And just remember it's 25 microliters for all of these. And then once you have your patient's plasma mixed in with the reagent red cells, you're going to go ahead and incubate it for 15 minutes in the orthotyping systems incubator. So you just go ahead and you put the gel card in the incubator, close it up, and then don't forget to set your timer for 15 minutes. After your time is up, then it's pretty much one more step. You're just going to take the gel card out of the incubator and you're going to put it into the ortho microtyping systems centrifuge that's designed to fit these cards. Um, now it's important to make sure that you do properly balance this centrifuge like all others. Um, usually you just have to sacrifice a gel card. Um, and this is going to run for 10 minutes and then after that we'll be, or be able to go ahead and uh, read our reactions. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do all of the reactions, but you can find that on Ortho's website. But here is an example of the negative and the 4 plus. So 1, 2 was 0, and 3 is 4. Thanks for watching the video. There's really not much else to it.